and we are recording <clears throat> it's nice to be back from my week-long vacation up in the north of Sweden uh, and um, this week I'm gonna be continuing to develop my motor drive uh, which uh, you have probably seen in the other videos this is the schematic of my motor drive uh, and um, right now the next step is to focus on uh, reviewing this schematic and I'm going to show you how to do this in KiCad. I have generated this uh, this list. I already started doing a little bit of a, of a review on this, uh, but I think that um, for the sake of this video, because I I had a little bit of trouble to to record when I was on vacation, uh, so for the sake of this video, I will uh, just regenerate this list. Because what I want to do also is add another column here that uh, specifies the manufacturer number for each part. Because I found that when I was doing the review, I was um, constantly looking up the manufacturer number in order to uh, double check certain uh, parameters in the uh, in the component description, such as packaging, for example. And uh, uh, it's not always clear from the data sheet uh, which component uh, it is that uh, that I have placed on the schematic. So I have to use the manufacturer number to actually look up the precise component uh, that um, uh, that is placed on the schematic. So um, I made a little script here. Let me show you the script. Uh, let me just move this window here. So uh, using using the KiCad library utils, um, I have created this little script that uh, goes through the schematic and basically outputs the list of components. Let's see. Um, so uh, change directory to the schematic pa Python done preview. Um, and then instead of the library, I'm going to place here um, motor driver 2x uh, schematic. And I think, uh, yeah, let's see here. I think this should work. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to add here also is the uh, manufacturer number. I'm going to add it past the, let me see here. I'm just going to stop my phone uh, let me just send a message to the person calling Okay, uh, so I'm going to add a new uh, column here uh, that will specify the, uh, the exact manufacturer uh, product code for this, um, for this component. And uh, we have the product code as uh, part of the fields where the, um, let's see, uh, let's do like this. So um, I'm going to go through all of the components and uh, I'm going to just, uh, let's see, I'm just going to dump um, can we do like keys, no? Um, let's just dump the fields uh, and see what we get here. Okay, I think um, we need to just uh, follow the same um, the same idea as I did with the check component script. Let's see. Uh, 
component fields um, yeah we can we can we can do like this so um, component field um, let's see so um, yeah I think this should actually work so the third field here would be uh, C field um, uh, npm uh, and that would be I suppose they, they kind of have like very odd naming for the different uh, variables inside the field object um, so like I think it's name that's actually the value let's see here component has no attribute field uh, I think there is there should be a function there should be a function that actually oh 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 okay so let's copy this code that I've um, that I've added into the schematic library um, object and I'll add it to the component in this let's see okay cool let's try this or otherwise return none uh, but what we could do here is actually do a little uh, let's see dump preview can we do like this will work yeah uh, so now we just do like this main and um, yeah this should, this should work no? uh, okay I just forgotten that this is not this is not JSON uh, so I need to how to do that let's see I have to look it up I feel stupid but I have to look it up so um, Python inline uh, dictionary maybe it's uh, maybe I have to put uh, quotes around it yeah yeah okay I have to put quotes around it uh, like this work yep uh, except that that doesn't really um, okay Maybe it's uh, maybe they call it something. Maybe they call it differently here. So let's, let's just check this. So they have fields. Where are they adding the fields? Okay. <coughs> so here they call it ID or or ref. So ref would be the the field um, value then. Okay. So instead of field name that would be ID uh, and um, this should work and then this would be kind of like ref this should maybe work no okay so they're using different code for for loading uh, the actual schematic file so I have to just figure out what they have what they have um, used as let's see so they have so ID actually seems to be may, maybe ID is like a, a number that would be odd 
Uh, I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna output it in the search function here. So print field. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna see how I can print the, the dictionary. I want to pretty print it. So print. Print, print. Maybe I can just print like this. And it's like I should be able to just print the fucking field and get the uh, contents. There we go. So we have, uh, right, so we have the MPN. Uh, so the way it stores the, <coughs> the actual name of this. Um, Manufacturer part number is um, in quotes. So we have to do like this. We have to do name. name equals and just close this. This should maybe work. Yeah, this seems to work. Cool. Okay, uh, so we, we have this, and uh, let's just output the, <coughs> the CSV into. I should be able to open this uh, file again. Uh, okay, let's close this one. Or actually, I'm not gonna close this one. I'm just gonna <coughs> I'm just gonna save as because. Um, Uh, yeah, no, not really. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save it as an uh, ODF, <coughs> and then uh, I will open this. Let's see. I'm gonna open the review doc again, and I think um, what I will have then is. Yeah, I have all the manufacturer numbers here, uh, and in fact, uh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, it's because because I didn't, uh, I only changed a few parts. So when I was doing the previous review, I actually um, updated a few components to to have the right um, uh, to have the right uh, voltage ratings, uh, like for example the. Uh, see some of the capacitors for example are updated from uh, being 100 volts to, to um, 50 volts at 100 nanofarad mm -hmm. capacitors because uh, the the footprint of these capacitors is much smaller uh, so it's, not, it's good to, to use the 50 volt capacitors uh, instead of 100 volt capacitors where it's unnecessary to have 100 volts um, so let's see here So basically, um, in the next few videos, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be um, reviewing each component, uh, and I'm gonna be going uh, through the data sheet of, of the components, and uh, 
uh, checking uh, the footprint, checking the voltage rating, and also checking uh, the schematic uh, as I go through this, uh, this list. Now there's one thing that's a little bit um, annoying with, with KiCad, uh, and it's the, the fact that uh, the references of the components that are uh, marked as uh, no fit with, with the comment uh, before that component, uh, they, are, uh, they can be duplicated uh, with components that are actually on the schematic. So if you have like, you can have an R1 that is commented out, uh, but then you can have an R1 that is not commented out. And that's a little bit odd. That, that, that's actually a bug in, in KiCad uh, because uh, it should consider uh, the no fit components uh, as th they should be basically unique. They should have unique references and they should not be duplicated because when you remove this, uh, this um, comment in front of the reference, you want the, the actual reference to be unique uh, and not duplicated with some other component. But that's something, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, it's, not, it's not a very big problem. Uh, it's just that uh, w when I'm going to have to uh, uncomment any of these components, I will have to also remove the number uh, after the reference uh, just to make sure that it gets annotated again. Uh, let's see if I have any un annotated components here. I think maybe I do. Uh, I at least have one. Uh, I have some. I have a capacitor there also, un unannotated. So I'm going to annotate the schematic and I'm going to uh, regenerate this file. Uh, and then I will uh, start with the review. But I think I'll stop this video for now. And I'll just uh, do a little bit of cleanup in terms of um, maybe even um, while I'm at it, I'm probably gonna even find all of this com all these resistors and just um, re-annotate the schematic so that they get um, proper unique values. Um, so yeah. Uh, the, the actual work is going to start in the next video. <laughs>